When it comes to behaviour, is your dog at the top of the class or does it need a few more lessons to pass the test? Today we're going back to school for a class in canine training from one of the best doggy teachers there is. And I'm right. Steve can train dogs of all shapes and sizes to learn some pretty extraordinary things from sniffing out some fairly odd smells to being man's best friend to people in need. Steve, you've certainly had a few pupils in your time as a dog trainer and this is where you come to choose your students. That's right, we're at the RSPCA here. It's a great place to choose a dog. And what are you going to be training them up for? We're going to train them for conservation work, for in finding endangered species. Wow. So they've got a big job ahead of them. We've got dogs in Africa doing cheetah for cheetah conservation. So these dogs could end not only end up anywhere in Australia, they could end up anywhere in the world. International travel. Now, we've got a lot of very good-looking contenders here. How on earth are we possibly going to choose who we will take for training? Well, we're going to test them <laughs> with a food drive and a play drive, okay. right, and see which dog responds the best, because the dogs that respond best to the reward, that's the most important thing. Let's check out some of the candidates for Steve's latest class. See how they go with the ball. <laughs> Oh, gorgeous. Phantom is the one who got the pick. We've got our toys, we've got our food. What do we do now, Steve? Let's test him. Okay. Because he's got to select the best reward, not us. Okay. So let's try the tug toy. Do you want this as your reward, Phantom? Nope. Nope. What about our ball, Pepper? <laughs> hey, turn this ball, Phantom. Kind of. Not almost. particular. No. What about our food? Food. And why is it so important for them to be able to choose their reward? Well, because that makes the dog then. Winner, winner. Obviously, winner. The winner. <laughs> that makes the dog then want to work because it's no good of us telling him this is the reward. We've got to get him to select his reward so therefore his work ethic is always the strongest. Mm. Yeah, so from reward. now on, we'll associate odour that he finds with a nice piece of food that he really enjoys because that's his reward and he really does like <laughs> your fingers. <doesn't> <laughs> now Phantom has chosen his reward, it's time for the lessons to begin. Okay, so where are we going with this first little bit of training? Okay, we have some koala odour on this towel, mm -hmm. alright, so we're going to associate a very pleasant experience with koala. Fine. Ah, Phantom's favourite. He gets his reward, mm -hmm. right, and we say the command, fine, and as he gets his reward, he's also getting up his nostrils, the koala. Okay, yes. and ev eventually do you start to um, like use less of the reward and just more of the odour? Of exactly right. So in the next few <laughs> more steps, we just put, well, you can do it for me. Okay. This time, we'll just give you one little piece of food instead of a couple. This is the beginning of my yeah. new career too. There okay. You go. Show them the reward. Put it on. Say fine. Fine. You are oh, now like a koala detector dog handler. I'll have him. Congratulations <laughs> on your. <laughs> It's all based on positive experiences. It's all based on positive reinforcement. Uh, we're going to make this the best job and the best experience in his life. And I guess this would be like the best job for you too. You get to work with some pretty unique animals. I certainly do. Uh, I'm very lucky. I can't wait to wake up in the morning to go to work because what's better than this? Now I'm going to have a go at taking Phantom's new trick to the next level. Okay. So get his attention first. Why do I put this? No, down no, first? just put yep, it down so in a distance, right? That could be a little bit far, but let's see. That's no, all right. Let's okay. see. Now get Phantom. his attention with the food. Phantom. Right now, fine. Fine. <gasps> oh Good yes. Boy. I think this guy's going straight to the top of his class. What a clever boy. Now, I really didn't think he could do that. That usually takes about four or five days to get him to do that, you know? A plus! A plus Phantom! You know, for a little RSPCA dog, today his whole life has changed. All for the better. So He's good. gonna be a little beauty this dog. <laughs> Been a pleasure meeting you, Phantom.